Hello, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our general mathematics class. Today, we'll talk about deferred annuity. In the previous lessons, we have talked about simple annuity. It's when the compounding period is equal to the payment interval. And if they are not equal, we have also tackled about the general annuity. This morning, we'll talk about deferred annuity. And let's start reciting today's memory verse. It's found in Ecclesiastes 5 verse 10. It says, he who loves money will not be satisfied with money, nor he who loves wealth with his income. This is also vanity. For your EVCA boosters today, you need to cite the Bible story that involves business. You share to us where and when did the business part happen and who were involved. You can cite the Bible reference, the Bible text as your reference. At the end of today's class, you'll be able to calculate the present value and a period of deferral of a deferred annuity. Let's continue with our loaned house part three. It's about the woman who paid monthly just to have her own house, which she had after 10 years. And here's the plot twist. If the loan is paid at the start of the third year, estimate the monthly payment up to the 10th year, which will yield a lesser interest when you start paying in the first year or you start paying in the third year. Why do you think so? This morning, as I mentioned, we'll be talking about deferred annuity. And once we say deferred annuity, we associate it with the key term delay. In deferred annuity, the first payment is being delayed. For example, you went to Yamaha to loan a motorcycle and it's payable for five years. However, you started paying on the second year. That one year delay makes it a deferred annuity. Now, what happens to the succeeding payments? In deferred annuity, the succeeding payments are regularly given. It's only the first payment that is being delayed. Just like going to Yamaha for a five-year loan and you start paying on the second year. That one year of delay of payment is called the period of deferment. Here's the formula for the future value of the deferred annuity. And the second is the formula for the present value of deferred annuity. For example, if you went to Yamaha for a motorcycle loan and the motorcycle cost 50,000, that 50,000 is called the present value. Let's start with the first problem. Problem number one, find the present value of 10 semi-annual payments of 2,000 each if the payment is due at the end of three years and money is worth 8% compounded semi-annually. Now, if we check, we are looking for the present value. The periodic payment is 2,000 pesos at an interest rate of 8% compounded semi-annually, so our N is two. There are 10 semi-annual payments. So in a year, there are two payments. Thus, we are paying the, the loan for five years. If you check with a problem, the first payment is due at the end of three years. In the problem, there are five years. So we can imagine that for every year, there will be two payments. The first payment is due at the end of three years. So you start paying here. These ones are not paid, right? So we call this RD, the number of deferred periods. Thus, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five deferred periods. Or we say that we haven't paid for five years for five payment periods, I mean. Now for our formula, this is a formula for the present value. So we start substituting. 
we have our P is 2,000 times, actually one way is to solve for the R over N first. Like here, our R over N is 0 0.08 divided by two, that's 0 0.04. So every time we see R over N, we write 0 0.04. One minus one plus 0 0.04, so the power of negative n times t plus d over r over n minus 1 minus 1 plus r over n to the power of negative 5 all over r over n. You could pause for a moment and check with your calculators if you'll end up with the same answer. The answer to this is 13,333.13. This is the present value. You can pause this video if you want to make a review. Let's go to problem number two. A deferred annuity is purchased that will pay 5,000 per quarter. So in every year, there are four payments for 10 years. After being deferred for five years with an interest rate of 6% compounded quarterly, what is the present value of the annuity? Again, we are looking for the present value and we are paying 5,000 per quarter at 6% interest rate. And it, since it's compounded quarterly, our N is four. We are paying this for 10 years, so our T is 10. Remember that the payment is deferred for five years. And for each year, we make four payments. So for five years times four payments per year, we have 20 deferred periods. Or we say we have 20 payments that were not being paid. We're computing for the present value. So let's substitute our values to the formula. And one way again is to solve for R over N first. That's going to be 0 0.06 divided by 4. The answer is 0 0.015. Let me first check. Yes, it's correct. So every time we see R over N, this will be our value. We have 5,000 times one minus one plus R over N. So the power of negative four times T plus D over R over N minus one minus one plus R over N. So the power of negative D over R over N. It pause this to check with your calculators and see if your answer is the same with mine. The answer is 110,969.40. This is now our present value. You can pause this video if you want to check with your answer. Let's go to problem number three. In problem number three, if money is worth 10% compounded quarterly, find the present value of a sequence of quarterly payments of 4,500 each, with the first due at the end of two and one of years, and the last at the end of five years. Now, we see our present value is missing, and our periodic payment is 4,500. Our interest rate is at 10% or 0 0.1, and it's compounded quarterly. So our N is equal to four. We are ending the payment in five years, so our T is equal to five. Now, if you see, you're paying for five years, right? And quarterly. So for year one, there were four deferred payments. For year two, another four deferred pay payments. And since we have in two and one half years, there must be another two payments. 
But since we start paying at the end, so the other one is paid, the other one is not paid. So it means that we have nine deferred periods. We're looking for the present value. So we can write a formula for the present value. Okay, we can solve first for R over N. That's 0.1 divided by four. The answer is 0 0.025. So we now have 4,500 times one minus one plus 0 0.025. So the power of negative N, that's four times T plus D all over 0 0.025 minus one minus one plus 0 0.025. So the power of negative nine all over 0 0.025. You can pause your calculators for a while and check if you'll get the same answer. The answer to this is 56,172 Point zero eight. You can pause this video if you want to check with your answers. Let's go to problem number four. Vic Atienza deposits in a bank that pays interest at 9% compounded semi-annually. He withdraws 4,500 every six months. So that's going to be semi-annual once or uh, twice in a year. And the first is to be made at the end of four years, for eight years. How much did Vic deposit? We're looking still for the present value. And our periodic payment is 4,500. It's compounded at 9%, it's 0 0.09, semi-annually, so our N is two. We end our payment in eight years, so our T is eight. And since we first pay at the end of four years times two, that's eight, but we start um, computing at the end, so minus one, that's seven. Or you could do it this way. For year one, two, three, and four, there are two payments per year, but you start paying at the end of four years. So this is already paid. So our D is just seven. Let's solve for the present value. We can solve now for our interest for R over N. That's 0 0.09 divided by two. So we have 0 0.045. We have 4,500 times one minus one plus 0 0.045. So the power of negative n times t plus d over 0 0.045 minus 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.045. So the power of negative 7 all over 0 0.045. You could pause this video to check with your answer. Our answer is 37,147.83. If you have questions, feel free to message me in Telegram. This ends our lecture video for lesson 4.5 on deferred annuity.